Hi, I'm Dave Prokop. I'm the CEO of True Medicine. And I'm here to tell you this story about Ian. Ian was born September 17, 1971, in Santa Barbara, California. Soon after, his family moved to the uh, Beacon Hill area of Seattle. Uh, Ian was a normal kid. He showed some signs of autism. Uh, but he went on to create his, uh, achieve his GED, uh, and get his high school diploma. Ian uh, signed up for the military, the Army, and when he was 17. He was stationed at Fort Drum, New York. Uh, in a training session, uh, unfortunately a grenade exploded near him. It gave him a head injury, and he lost a hearing in his ear because of it. He, would, he left, uh, he was discharged from the Army two years later, came back to Seattle. He had a series of odd jobs, uh, hunting, fishing, uh, around the area. But in 2007, his personality dramatically changed. He started to flying into rages. His parents thought that he might have bipolar disorder. He might have uh, uh, depression associated with that. And on May 30th, 2012, Ian Stowicki walked into the Racers Cafe in Seattle, used a handgun, and ultimately shot five people, and shot himself after he was confronted by police. Ian slipped through the system. 24% of all disabilities are caused by mental illness, 12 times more than diabetes, and 12 times more than cancer. This story about Pete this is what could happen with Pete. Pete was diagnosed with PTSD, or post-traumatic stress syndrome. Pete signed up for uh, Obamacare to get help with his depression. He went to see his doctor. His doctor prescribed to him the True Medicines application. And he asked Pete to uh, scan his drugs on a daily basis so he could uh, be compliant with his drug regime. This doctor also works with the VA. In the VA hospital, they require uh, compliance with the drug regime. Pete's able to go online and view his progress as he completes, completes all of his uh, therapies with uh, online support groups, uh, social groups, uh, his doctor's advice. Our market strategy for True Medicines is a subscription model. That would be a subscription model to most people. <laughs> uh, we're looking to get uh, uh, pharmacies and repackagers to uh, package their drugs such that we can scan them. Uh, our competitors in the marketplace have nothing like this. This is our team of uh, professionals that uh, are working on True Medicines. Right now we have two patents for this uh, uh, technology. We have uh, the app running on uh, phones as well as on the Azure backend database. And there are thousands of pharmaceuticals that we can use this technology on. We're looking for $500,000 to start our venture and we make drugs. Uh, we don't make drugs, but we make drugs trackable.